which drains through the left hepatic duct forms the left functional lobe. Porta hepatis. It is a fissure or gap which is present between the chordae and the quadrate lobes. The porta hepatis or the hilum of liver consists of hepatic artery, portal vein and hepatic duct. The hepatic artery and the portal vein enters the porta hepatis. The hepatic duct exits from the porta hepatis. Peritoneal relations. Most of the liver is covered by peritoneum except the bare area of the liver, this triangular area, bare area of the liver, groove for inferior vena cava, fossa for the gallbladder, and porta hepatis. These are the areas which is not covered by the peritoneum. Ligaments. The ligaments of the liver includes number one, falciform ligament. Number two, coronary ligament. Number three, right triangular ligament. Number four, left triangular ligament. Number five, lesser momentum. Number six, ligamentum teres. Number seven, ligamentum venosum. The ligamentum teres and ligamentum venosum are true ligaments. The others for false ligaments. Falciform ligament. It connects the anterior surface of the liver to the anterior abdominal wall. Coronary ligament. It is a triangular fold of ligament which connects the valley area of the liver to the diaphragm. Right triangular ligament. It connects the right lateral surface of the liver to the diaphragm. Left triangular ligament. It connects the superior surface of the left lobe to the diaphragm. Lesser momentum. It is a fold of peritoneum which stretches from the porta hepatis to the lesser curvature of the stomach. Ligamentum teres. It is a remnant of obliterator left umbilical vein. Ligamentum venosum. It is present in this fissure. Ligamentum venosum. It is the remnant of obliterator ductus venosus. Blood supply. The hepatic artery and the portal vein supplies the liver. Venous drainage. The hepatic veins drains the liver and it drains into inferior vena cava. Nerve supply. There are sympathetic and parasympathetic. Sympathetic by the celiac plexus derived from the T7 to T9 segments of the spinal cord. Parasympathetic, right and left vagal nerves. Histology or microscopic structure of liver. The liver surface is covered by peritoneum. So, the first outermost layer is it has an outer fibrous capsule or fibrous tissue, which is nothing but the outer peritoneal covering. The parenchyma of the liver is made up of a number of lobes which are hexagonal in shape. Each lobe has a central vein. Each lobe has a central vein with radiating sinusoids. This space, see the space present here, they are the sinusoids. 
So with radiating sun is also from the central vein it is radiating. Okay. Which are formed by the cords of hepatocytes. That is the rows of the cells of the liver cells. So the liver cells are known as hepatocytes. So the sinusoids are formed by are formed between the cords of hepatocytes. The sinusoids are lined by endothelium. Some of the cells are phagocytic in nature and they are known as Kuffer cells. The margin or the periphery of the lobes, the margin, the periphery of the lobes at the corners of the lobes they have portal trier. Each trier consists of a branch from hepatic artery, a branch from portal vein and a branch from hepatic duct. So these three structures together form the portal trier. Applied anatomy. Cirrhosis of liver. Cirrhosis of liver is due to atrophy of the parenchyma of the liver and hypertrophy of the connective tissue in chronic alcoholic persons. So in this you can see portal hypertension is a common condition. Thank you.